it's Tao, and I'm back with another one. Samsung recently updated their Good Luck 2018 app. As I was going through the what's new section on the different updates, one of the most notable changes was that swipe navigation gestures were added to the one-handed operation plus app. Swipe navigation is definitely the future of smartphones. The iPhone 10 already has them, and Google is testing them out in preparation for the next big Android update. We will probably start seeing a lot of manufacturers, including Samsung, get rid of the navigation bar. That's crazy because whenever I think of Android, the first thing that pops into my head is the navigation bar. When it happens, it's gonna be a tough transition, that's for sure. I played around with all the different options in One Handed Operation Plus and wanted to share my initial impressions. Before that, let's go over how everything works. Once you have the app open, hit the button beside on to enable it. The first menus you're greeted with are the new swipe functions. There are short swipes and long swipes with a hold. Under both short and long swipes, you can set up a different function for a horizontal swipe, diagonal up, and diagonal down. The different functions available include none, meaning that swipe gesture will do nothing. Home key, replicates pressing of the home button. Recent key, replicates pressing of the recent button. Back key, replicates pressing of the back button. Previous app, replicates the double tapping of the recent key to quickly switch to the previous app. Open quick panel, brings down the quick panel and notification shade. Show soft key, enables the navigation soft keys. Screen move down, brings the screen down halfway so you can access items near the top. Reduce screen, enables the regular one-handed mode. I do want to note that some of the functions are only available for certain swipe gestures. For example, the screen move down and reduce screen functions are only available as options for the diagonal down long swipe. The rest of the menu options in One Handed Operation Plus include Handler Display Options. This basically allows you to choose which side of the screen you want the gesture handle to be located on. You can choose the left side, right side, or both. Vibration level lets you control how much of a vibration feedback you get when a gesture is activated. Transparency controls how visible the gesture handler is on your screen. At 100%, it's completely invisible and it's what I actually prefer once you've gotten used to its location. Size adjusts the size of the gesture handler. You can make it as big or as small as you want. If you're using the edge screen, just make sure it doesn't overlap as it means you won't be able to access the edge panels. Position allows you to move the gesture handler higher or lower on the edge. Touch area width changes how close to the edge you have to swipe to activate the gestures. Large will mean that you can swipe further from the edge of the screen. I can see this being very useful for those of you with bulkier cases or larger thumbs. Swipe action distance changes how short, small, or large your swipes have to be to register. The larger you go on the scale, the longer your swipes have to be to activate the gesture. My initial thoughts when using the swipe gestures is that they need to be on the bottom, not on the sides. It just didn't feel natural. Muscle memory had me constantly reaching down to the nav bar area at the bottom. But after a few hours of use, I actually start to get used to the gestures. I have a setup so that diagonal down long swipe activates my recent app. Diagonal down short swipe activates previous app, replacing the double tapping recent button. It's actually faster using this gesture. Horizontal long swipe takes me home. Horizontal short swipe is my back button. I found that this gesture setup has been working great for me. It's great that Samsung allows you to customize the gestures to suit your preferences. I'm still not 100% sold on the gestures replacing the navigation bar, but for now, it doesn't hurt to have another way to navigate my phone. The gestures are also very smooth and responsive, so props to Samsung for that. What are your thoughts on swipe navigation gestures? Do you prefer it over the tried and trusted navigation bar or do you absolutely hate it? Let me know in the comment section because I love interacting with all of you. Until the next one, peace. Bye!